Hello everyone, and welcome to my Bachelor Nation Today Update channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Faith Martin discusses friendship, healing hearts with Jerry and Teresa. Faith Martin visited Trista Sutter, who was covering for her on the Almost Famous podcast, to have a conversation. She's talking about her recovery, her friendship with Teresa Nist and Golden Bachelor Jerry Turner, and how she's doing. What was it she had to divulge? Continue reading to learn more. Faith Martin talks about her friendship with Jerry and Teresa. After going on a date in her hometown, Faith Martin was devastated to get a call from Jerry Turner. She's been able to make some progress since then. On the Almost Famous podcast, she opened up to Trista Sutter about her emotions. Even though Faith is happy for Golden Bachelor Jerry Turner and his new wife Teresa Nist, she acknowledged that she still has obstacles in her path to become friends with them. She did mention that they are all pretty open about how they feel about one another. So Faith said the three of them would speak over the phone as soon as it became public that Jerry and Teresa were dating. He loves you so much, Teresa would say, and I would reply, I love him too, and I love you, the woman remarked. And you mean we're going to be lifelong friends? And they respond, yeah, so we keep in constant contact by phone. Faith claims that her heart has grown and begun to heal as a result of all of the conversations she has had with Teresa and Jerry. Faith Martin revealed that although she is happy for Teresa Nist and Jerry Turner, she occasionally uses the restroom to cry. I was so in love with him, and I don't think I would ever find similar traits in another man, so it's still a little difficult for me, she added. I was very saddened by the loss, but I'm also quite happy for them. But as time passes, she comes to the realization that maybe it's time for her to return to the spotlight. It gave me the ability to feel again and the realization that my heart wasn't dead within, being able to summon those emotions and hold them within my heart allowed me to realize that, yes, I was still alive. I simply had to adopt a new perspective on things. Although Faith hasn't gone on a date yet, she acknowledges that she has made some serious flirtatious overtures to someone and believes they ought to get together. She wouldn't reveal to Trista who it was, though. She acknowledged that it might be a known member of Bachelor Nation, Faith attended the golden wedding in Teresa's and Jerry's honor. She was having a blast. How do you feel about Faith's friendship with Teresa and Jerry? Michelle Young talks about getting to know her new boyfriend. At last, Michelle Young opens up about how she met Jack Leas, her new boyfriend. For all the juicy facts of her recent romance, continue reading. Michelle Young and the Bachelorettes reconvene. Several Bachelor Nation alumni attended the wedding of Jerry Turner and Teresa Nist, including Michelle Young. She took advantage of the golden wedding to formally introduce her new partner to the public. In October, Michelle and her new partner made their Instagram debut official, following weeks of fan tees with a soft launch. Michelle had the opportunity to catch up with a few of the other bachelorettes during the wedding. On her Instagram, she posted a selfie with Caitlin Bristow from season 11 and Rachel Recchia, star of season 19. Maybe she coerced Caitlin into disclosing information about her supposed romance with Zach Clark. Alternatively, she shared with them her experience of meeting her lover by chance and offered advice on how to do the same. How her new boyfriend and she met. It wasn't easy for Michelle Young or her fiancé Nate Oyakoya to split up. She seemed to have taken a while to get over their 2022 breakup. It wasn't until 2023 that she publicly dated someone. She is eager to discuss her affair, though, given that it is public knowledge. Earlier this month, Michelle and Jack discussed a lot of personal information about their courtship as guests on the Almost Famous podcast. Jack Leas is a native of Minnesota, just like Michelle. The invisible string notion is credited by the former bachelorette with bringing them together. About how he met Michelle, Jack said, she has a good friend, and her friend has a little brother, who I know. Her friend's little brother posted Michelle in his Instagram story, so I kinda just hit him up a couple times. Michelle just so happened to be speaking with her friend's brother during this whole ordeal. She requested him to help arrange a date even though she hadn't planned on meeting her person in Minnesota. Jack's Instagram page was displayed to her by her friend's brother. Michelle expressed her instant interest in the podcast. The rest is history, they spent the next four days together after meeting later that evening. 
Michelle Young also thinks that she might have happened to run across Jack by accident. We frequent the same pubs. His childhood lake is where my family goes fishing every day. What fans of Bachelor Nation think about matching? Michelle posted numerous pictures from the nuptials, one of which featured the groom. Fans couldn't get enough of the pictures of her new partner that were featured on her Instagram carousel. I adore these photos. You two make a lovely couple. I know you two will have some stunning children. And this is the Golden Wedding's sexiest couple. What a handsome man that is. Very lovely. The two of you are stunning. You seem very content. You two are very attractive together. You two make a stunning couple. Without a doubt, you improved. We are really happy for you. Jack and Michelle appear content together. How do you feel about the recently formed duo? Do you subscribe to the invisible string hypothesis, which holds that the person you were intended to be with is waiting for the right moment to show up in plain sight? Post your ideas in the comments section. Nick Vile interviews Gypsy Rose Blanchard in her first podcast interview, find out what she revealed. Over the past few weeks since her release from prison, Gypsy Rose Blanchard has been blowing up on social media and doing interviews with various news outlets. For her very first podcast interview, Gypsy Rose and her husband Ryan Anderson stopped by The Vile Files, where she opened up to former bachelor Nick Vile and his fiancée Natalie Joy. Gypsy Rose is known for her involvement in the killing of her mother, Claudine D. D. Blanchard, in 2015. Gypsy Rose and her then-boyfriend, Nicholas Godjohn, were convicted in 2016 for orchestrating the murder of D.D., who had been manipulating Gypsy Rose's life. D.D. portrayed her daughter as terminally ill and Gypsy Rose suffered years of abuse due to Munchausen by proxy. Gypsy Rose is finally free from prison after over eight years behind bars, and she opened up to Nick about being released. She discussed getting to experience consensual intimacy for the first time with her husband, saying, We had our first intimate moments as husband and wife. Got to consummate our marriage, which was great. I pledge to support you through it all, to be your rock in times of need, to console you in your hour of need, and to laugh with you when you're joyful. Most vital, though, is to enjoy ourselves for the remaining hours of our days here on earth, she joked. I am so excited to become your wife and I love you with all of my heart. Teresa was later informed by Jerry that he would make her the happiest woman on earth. I swear to always select you as my special someone and to never take your heart for granted. He said, I swear to yell the I love yous throughout the day and whisper them softly at night. I pledge to protect you, to console you during trying times, and to fill you with unbridled joy at happy moments. We have an unbreakable trust, therefore I swear to you that I will share my deepest thoughts with you in those quiet, pillow talk moments when the stillness is deafening. I also swear to carefully and compassionately listen to yours.